know, in the last couple videos, I've been showing you how we make these rockers. So today I thought I'd show you how we go from this to this. Now, in order to save a little time, I've gone ahead and welded up these back supports and these rockers. But we'll go ahead and get started on these legs next. For each seat and back support, you're going to want a front and a rear leg. Now, the difference between these legs and the ones on the regular benches, obviously we're not putting caps on the bottom, and we've taken time to subtract out a couple of inches for the rock. Okay, as we get set up here to start welding these legs on, I want to point something out here. I use these little spacers. By using these shims, we're able to split the difference in width that's created when you make this compound miter cut. All right, then, the first thing we'll do is get these tacked off. We'll just line it up this corner right here. All right, that's the left-hand side. Let's set up the other side. So once again, we're going to make sure this is nice and flat here, everything's lined up. Then we can weld them off. Alright, now that we got these things welded up, the next step is pretty simple. So I'm going to use this cutoff piece of 2 inch tubing to start marking these, marking these out where we want to cut them. We're going to need to take more out of the front than the back. About like that, and we'll do the same thing right back here. So once you get these all marked up, you've got a couple options when it comes to cut these. Today I'm going to show you how I do it with my angle grinder and a regular abrasive disc. All right, so here you can see how we've taken the back up much further than the inside. We got all three of them set up, ready to go, and we'll start welding these up. We got these ground down. Simply a matter of setting them in place, lining these things up level, and get them welded off. Now I don't know if you can see this gap right here, but I've got another one on the front leg here. I'll this show you a good example of what I'm talking about. You can see how this is proud by a good quarter three-eighths of an inch. It does the same thing right up here on these. So to fix this, we're going to take our angle grinder and a cutoff disc and cut a little notch there and beat those over. Seals that up. So now you can really see what we've done there. We've just folded that over so we can get a good weld right here. matter of getting all these welded up now you don't need to sit there and watch me do this so if you haven't done so already be sure to click subscribe right over here and come on back next time this has been Mitchell Dillman with logfurniturehowto.com we'll see you again next week